What's going on everybody? Today we are headed to Rocky Mountain Race Week Day 3 up at Vandermeer, Colorado. Uh, the drive yesterday was pretty eventful. We lost the brakes, had to fix them, had to get back to the hotel here in Denver. Made the drive through the mountains, got them all bled. Everything seems pretty good now. So we're going to pack up, head over to the track, and get started for the day. It's kind of raining, so hopefully we don't have a bunch of issues. But uh, I'm going to play with the torque management probably today. Hopefully get it to go a little bit quicker. We'll see how it goes. Right, so we're on our way to Vandermeer for day three, race day two. in Colorado up here in Denver. Uh, track's about ready to go hot. There's cars just now pulling in the lanes we just got here. So we are gonna get the car wiped down, get some of the gunk off of it, uh, get the other wheels and tires put on, all of our luggage and everything out of the car. I'm gonna throw a different tune in it and then we'll go make a hit and see what it does. Check out all the cars all piled in. Everybody's unloading their stuff right now, getting ready to go for the trailers. It's probably one of the coolest things to see in all the cars for the trailers. It's just a, a neat deal that they, uh, some people carry some fun stuff, some people carry a bunch of tools, some people carry spare parts, some people carry all of the above. So uh, uh, it's pretty neat to see for sure, to be a part of it. And hey everyone, here it is, moment of truth, find out what this thing weighs. We're going to roll over the scale here at Bandamere. They're usually pretty close here, so uh, let's find out. So we went 14.3 and 27.55. So that's that's a pretty light car. I'm I'm happy with it. I, I was hoping it would be about that. So uh, stock car is 21 to 2300 pounds. So even if it's 22 and we gain 400 pounds, 25.90, so 390 pounds ish. It's pretty good. I I think that's good. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna go uh, roll up. I made a few changes in the tune, and we'll see what it does. Uh, not sure if I got all the torque management out of the transmission where it cuts timing or not, but played with some timing, changed the AFR up top. Uh, hopefully, Carney, we can get there and get enough time to where April can edit a few videos for you guys, and then I can go tune on it and get everything set up. So maybe we can crack in the 1290s tomorrow, but uh, let's get on with racing.
152 and 103 up here at Vandermeer. It went uh, 206, 60 foot, 1352 at 103. Hey everyone, so I just got done making that pass. I went 13.5. April's 13.7, so. <laughs> I didn't change it. But uh, we'll see. So that'll, we should be real close. It, it's not we're competing against everybody else. We're competing against each other this week. So uh, we're going to get loaded up. It looks like a real long drive to Kearney, which uh, we knew was going to happen anyway. Uh, yesterday's was like one page long. Today's is three page long. So we're going to go turn in our slips, get our map, and get on the road and try to make it halfway. They actually set up tomorrow as a drive day completely. But we'd like to make it, try to make it halfway tonight. So then we just don't have such a long day on the road, especially if anything happens or there's any issues or whatever. So we kind of want to try to be ahead of it, make up uh, some extra time today. So we both hit one pass, one and done, get out of here. There's been a few rain stops and stuff. So we just want to hit the road and uh, see how far we can make it tonight. In the road, April's going to drive for a little while. We're going to try to make it as far as we can tonight. Probably stay uh, hopefully midway on the route. And then it's a quick, uh, finish there tomorrow to get into Kearney uh, and then see what we can do so we're just gonna knock down some miles guys looking at the map on our directions and everything that they give us got about four oh, sorry got about 410 miles to go tonight or tonight tomorrow morning so it's uh gonna be a drive out here doing street car things and just normal typical uh America so <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying the uh, race week videos we're we're having a freaking blast it's yeah. fun uh it's, it's been really fun uh meeting all the people of the other racers and then just people at the hotel checking out the cars everybody's everybody's digging clyde so uh i hope you guys do as well in the videos that we'll be producing it's not the fastest thing but man is it a fun car so we'll uh knock down some miles and talk to you guys here in a bit all right here you go real deal street car colorado life windshield wipers they're on there but we put that off the car we're in really don't want to scratch it up but it's beating it pretty good um which i can hook them up if we need to i'm not I'm not so worried about it so uh, i'm not gonna risk safety so if it gets bad enough pull over i'll hook them up should have just left them hooked up because you have to actually try to turn them on when you turn them on so uh but yeah that's that's what we're doing driving in some rain just hoping we don't hit any hail or anything like that you guys should see the sort of pretty nasty that whole area but we are kind of heading that direction, so I hope the storm keeps going that way. And we will soon turn and drive that direction, but uh, it's definitely still raining all around us, so just cruising though. We sprung a leak. We got a little leak around the window. We got a leak coming in from outside by where the vents are, I guess. I don't know exactly where that's at. So with the no hood on it, we uh, went ahead and threw the tarp on it, and then I'll try to drive everything off. I'm kind of just slightly worried that like. The factory wiring, if it gets wet, like the main fuse and stuff, it, it could be not a good thing. So we just pulled over, just gonna wait it out. Um, got my little pan band down here holding that water that's coming in. But uh, we got a little bit running in here, but we'll get it, uh, we'll figure it out. We're just gonna wait, no sense in driving in, in some crazy water. April hit a puddle and it splashed water clear by the window. So we're just gonna Jeez, hold out this. and then we'll go for it. All right, guys, so we made it to the first checkpoint here. We've got a couple other cars just pulled in behind us, so got to take our photo, and then we'll turn it in at the next track. But going to hit the road and keep on going. All right, so we made it to checkpoint number two. We've got a picture. Rain in the car's running real cool, so we'll probably throw a piece of cardboard on the radiator, help warm it up a little bit, and then we'll keep heading down the road. So this is how you make the car go from 120 degrees consistently to 160. So we uh, just put a little block in there, cut some of the air out, so all that worrying about it cooling. At least with the hood on it, uh, cools fine. So 160 with the little, looks like bug guard. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. So it's going to need a good bath when we get there. Had pretty much rain consistently since we left Denver. But uh, going good. Everything seems pretty decent. I'm actually going to climb under and make sure that it's not rubbing because we did hit a few bumps. Uh, and see if I can see any wear marks near the brakes just to make sure we're staying safe there as well. We broke down out here. We got a little water in the electronic throttle. Right inside here, there's a little bit of water. Must have arced through a cone. We're in the limb mode. We pulled over here. Shut your door. And then uh, we should be good now. We're going to keep rolling. We're only trying to make it about another 15, 20 minutes up the road to a hotel. And then we'll call it night because if you get stranded out here in the park, it's no good. So we're going to keep rolling. 
happy. We made it to the hotel last night after about seven hours of driving out of Denver. Uh, we still got about another four or five hours to go today. Today is day four of Rocky Mountain Race Week. We got today is a full drive day. We tried to make up a good chunk of the drive day yesterday. Um, so we got about only four hours to go. It looks like it's almost like a 10 hour trip uh, to get to Kearney. So through the tar put on, I guess we got rain all day today, all the way in. Anybody that's traveling from Denver today, uh, they'll probably have rain almost the whole way. Um, so just packing everything up right now, going to hit the road. We made it to Nebraska. We're about, I don't know, 250 maybe more miles into the trip on the second leg. Uh, probably around six, five, maybe 500 miles total so far. I don't know, four or 500 miles. So, uh, yep, just cruising along. Still raining. <laughs> All right, checkpoint number three. We've got one more, which is pretty much in Harney. So, doing all right. It's still wet. Debating on whether or not I should cover this thing up, but it's looking like it's staying pretty dry. So, just a little bit of water, but I think we'll be all right. It's not not crazy like it was yesterday. So, you know, uh, keep on keeping on. So we drove about seven hours last night to get to the hotel. We're a good four hours in today, pretty easy. Uh, kind of lost track, but this is what we've been driving through the whole time. It's gonna be a little bit lighter than this. It's gonna be a bit heavier than this, but it's pretty average for what we've driven through the last 11-ish hours. Uh, so for anybody that thinks it's just an easy cruise, you gotta do streetcar things to prove that it'll make it. It's, it's quite the deal. Like, me choosing not to run a hood, we had to stop. Uh, it's getting water in the mass airflow again. I sealed it up. It didn't throw a code, but I also don't want to arc and screwing up the electronic crawler or anything. So then you run our, against trucks like that and throw throw water against you and push you around. Uh, everything. <laughs> it's quite the quite the driver. It's the car humming. Pretty crazy, but I think we're about 40 minutes out from Blueprint Engines, which is the final checkpoint of this long, long leg of a drive. Um, it's kind of one of those things, I guess, when you're doing, you're like, oh man, this is just crazy. But as long as we get there, we complete it. Kind of like, man, we did that. So uh, definitely, definitely not just to hop it in and drive it a quick jaunt to the track. It's this is a heck of a drive. So. Having a blast though. A little sketchy with the water, makes you a little nervous having everything opened up, electrical, stuff like that. Um, but when building the car, I tried to make sure nothing could like hold water or any of that. Um, seems to be doing pretty decent, but there's only so much you can do as well. So uh, instead, we pulled over just to check a few things, try to find the next gas station to pull under so you have a little bit of a uh, little bit of a cover. Hey guys, thanks for following along. We'll see you when we get to Kearney. This is what it looked like when we arrived in Kearney. The rain was crazy and we just had to cover up the car and head inside. All right, so we are at the hotel. This is what happens when you drive through tons of rain and the car does not seal well. You buy towels at Walmart, you take all the rags you have and try to dry everything as you're going. And then when you get there, I guess you hang it on the car and try to dry it off. Uh, maybe find a laundry mat or something. The hotel doesn't have a dryer or anything. So we're just hanging everything we can. Uh, we actually had standing water like down by your feet in the back seat on both sides. Um, so I have some rags soaking that stuff up right now and then uh, it'd be nice if we get some decent weather so then I could dry everything off but uh, we'll hopefully let everything kind of air dry for a little bit we're gonna go dry off and uh, edit some video I think so take five so that's it for this video guys we made it to Kearney Nebraska tomorrow we'll be racing so if you have not yet please like subscribe and share we'll see you guys in the next video